Hello everyone. I am Divya, your math facilitator. Today we are going to discuss exercise 2.5 from question number 5. Okay, so question number 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 we have discussed in the earlier classes. Now from question number 5, let us discuss it now. So you need to factorize 25x square. Okay, you have 25x square plus 16y square plus 4z square minus 40xy plus 16yz and minus 20x z you need to factorize this okay so if you just look at this it is like x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xyz plus 2 okay x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. It is z or you can pronounce it as z or z. Okay, pronunciation is correct. So, x, y, z. Okay, it is x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx. Okay, so here if you just compare in the place of x, what do you have? In the place of x, you have 25 x square. Okay, or in the place of x, if you want to write more specifically, see here, you can write this as, you can write this as 5x whole square plus 16, you can write as 4. So, 4y whole square plus 4, you can write as 2. So, 2z whole square. So, in the place of x, you have 5x. In the place of y, you have 4y. In the place of z, you have 2z. Now, let us compare this 2xy, 2yz, 2zx also. So, this 40x is nothing but, see here, minus 40xy should be 2 times x and y. Okay, so 2 5 is a 10, 10 4 is a 40. You are getting 40xy, but there is a negative sign here. Now, the next one. 16yz is nothing but 2 times y is 4y and z is 2z. So, 42z, 82z, 16yz you are getting here. Here you are getting 40xy but you want minus 40xy. And next 2zx. 2zx is nothing but minus 20xz or you can write it as minus 2 times x is 5x and z is 2z. So, 2 5 is a 10, 10 2 is a 20 and you have a minus 20. So, clearly here you can see this is negative and this is also negative. Okay, here this is negative. So, if I want a negative sign here, now what is common in this term and in this term, something is common. What is that which is common? You can see this x term is common. Okay, so just put a minus sign to this x term. So, now you will get your answer. Okay, so just placing a minus sign, you will get your answer. Clear? So now, comparing this, I am taking x value as minus 5x. Instead of 5x, we are taking minus 5x because you have a negative signs here. And y, 4y and z, you are taking it as 2z. Now compare it, x square plus y square plus z square. Now this is minus 5x, 2xy is min 2 into minus 5x plus into 4y. So you will get minus 40 yz is this and 2zx you are getting it as minus 20xz minuses from this sign okay so i hope now this is clear so once you get this value now this formula is nothing but x plus y plus z whole square so here you know what is your x value what is your y value what is your z value so we will simply substitute it here so let us try it here so from this this is equal to x plus y plus z whole square isn't it this is like x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx that is equal to x plus y plus z whole square. Here x is minus 5x 
plus y is 4y plus z is 2z whole square of this. That is equal to you can write this as minus 5x plus 4y plus 2z into minus 5x plus 4y plus 2z. Okay, it is like a square, so a into a. I hope this is very clear for you. Let's proceed to the next question. Before moving on to the next question, I have a very, very, very important announcement for you. An academy is back with an academy emerge where you can be a topper. It is not easy to become a topper, but you can be a topper with an academy emerge and the real topper uh, emerges. Okay, you can emerge as a real topper from all your obstacles. You can overcome the obstacles and emerge as a real topper. All you need to do is you will have to enroll for an academy emerge. This is for class 10 students to prepare for the term 1 examination. Okay, and also an academy emerge is given for class 12 students also to prepare for term 1 examination. All you need to do is I'll give you the link to enroll in the description box. Just click on the link to enroll and please use the code DMM to enroll for an academy emerge. Okay, share it with all your friends, all your, you know, class 10 classmates, all your seniors, juniors, everyone around you who is in class 10 and 12 and let them enroll the link i'll share you in the description box and the code is dmm timing is 5 to 6 30 pm saturday and sunday okay and yes here are the dates 23rd saturday you will have science test for class 10 24th sunday you will have math test for class 12 class 10 and 23rd saturday 23rd saturday science 23rd sunday math for the class 10 and again 23rd Saturday Accountancy, 24th Sunday Economics and 25th Monday Business Study for Commerce students and then this is for Science students. The link to enroll as I told it is in the description box and timing is 5 to 6.30. One and a half hour exam, it is exactly like your sample paper. So you will get an edge, you will get a detailed performance report, you will get free video solution from top educator. You can improve yourself a lot. So do give the test and share it with all your class 10 and 12 friends. Now let's move on. So these are few batches which you can enroll. Okay, so there are new batches coming up every month, every week. So you can enroll to all the new batches. All you need to do is you'll have to take a subscription. Subscription cost is around 1000. So around 1000 you'll get top classes from the top educators and unlimited classes and test. Okay, and you can use the code DMM to get a 10% discount here. Right. So, and if you want to join my free classes, also you can join my free classes. I'm going to take a rapid revision class on polynomials and also you can see my old classes too. So, the code to enroll is DMM for the classes. I'll give the links of all these classes, the free as well as the plus classes in the description. Do check it out. So, let's proceed to the next question. So, fifth, second question of fifth. Okay. So, you have 9A square plus 4, 4B square plus 16c square plus 12ab minus 16bc minus 24ca so if you compare here this is like x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx so if i am comparing this what am i getting in the place of x square I, in the place of x i have 3a because 9 i can write as 3 so this is 3a and in the place of y i have 2b in the place of z i have 4c the reason you should know this now so this is 3a whole square and this i can write as 2b whole square and this i can write as 4c whole square so in the place of x i have 3a in the place of y i have 2b in the place of z i have 4c but you should also compare this 2xy 2yz and 2zx so let us do it so 2xy is nothing but 12ab here so it is nothing but 2 into x is 3a and y is 2b so comparing this so 2 3 is a 6 6 2 is a 12 so you are getting it as 12ab so this is correct now 2yz in the place of 2yz you have minus 16bc Okay, but this is 2 times y is you have taken it as 2b and c you have taken it as 4c. So, here 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are sorry, 4 4 is a 16 bc you are getting, but you want a minus 16 bc. Here already a value and b value you got it here, a and b are positive. So, what should be negative? Your c should be negative. Okay, 
let us check the next one also 2zx is minus 24ca so as i told you your c should be negative so it is 2 times zx so here your z should be negative so minus 4c into x is 3a so let us see 2 4 2 is 8 a 3 is a 24 and you have minus so minus 24 ac so you're getting this isn't it so what is negative your z value is negative from here your x is 3a your y is 2b and z value how much did we get it is minus 4c how did we get minus because here a and b you found it is positive so what should be negative c should be negative okay here c is common you can see so this this formula is nothing but x plus y plus z whole square so comparing here what is x x is 3a plus what is y it is 2b plus what is z it is minus 4c and whole square of it or you can write it as 3a plus 2b minus 4c whole square okay plus into minus is minus or this is like a square you can write it as a into a okay 3a plus 2b minus 4c whole square is nothing but 3a plus 2b minus 4c into again 3a plus 2b minus 4c i hope this is clear now let us move to question number six so just comparing you will know what to do clear so the next one if here in the question it is given if a plus b plus c equal to 9 okay and a b plus b c plus c a is given as how much it is given as 26 you need to find the value of a square plus b square plus c square is how much so how can we do this see here what is the formula which we can use once you see this a square plus b square plus c square what is the formula which i can use see this is like now this is, these are all squares so we have learned just now also we have been solving this see this is like x plus y plus z whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus z square this is like a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab isn't it plus 2bc plus 2ca okay so in in the place of x y z i'll substitute a b c so this formula can be written as a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c already i have taken a b c here by mistake we have written it as x y z isn't it so it is in the terms of x y z so it is x y y z z x so it's taking x in the place in the place of x i am taking a in the place of y i am taking b in the place of z i am taking c so the same formula i have written in this way but what is a plus b plus c it is 9 so substitute here is equal to what is a square plus b square plus c square we don't know plus 2 times see here from all these terms i can take two common so 2 times a b plus b c plus c a so 9 square is 81 is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 2 times a b plus b c plus c a is nothing but 26 let us substitute here so 81 is equal to a square plus b square plus c square plus 26 into 2 is 52 now what is the value of a square plus b square plus c square just transpose this 52 here so you will have 81 minus 52 so how much do we get 81 minus 52 you have a 29 here okay so 81 minus 52 you are getting 29 which is nothing but a square plus b square plus c square value you got it as 29 so is this very clear for everyone so we have simply used one single formula today what is it x square plus y square plus z square is equal to 2xyz okay x plus y plus z whole square equal to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2xy plus 2yz plus 2zx okay so question number 5 and 6 is based on this formula and in question number 5 you will simply check for it okay compare the values and take what is x value y value z value and substitute in this question you will check again what is x value y value z value 
So okay, you can you will identify the formula because you have a square, b square, c square. It is like x square plus y square plus z square. So this is the formula we are using. So I hope this is very clear for you. So don't forget to enroll for an academy emerge and also don't forget to enroll for my plus and free classes. Links will be provided in the description box. Code is DMM. So I'll see you in the next class. Thank you so much for being here. If you like this video, do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share this with all your friends and comment and let me know how are you liking my classes. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.